you are thinking about moving to Morrisville, North Carolina? Well, if you are in this video, I am going to do just what I always do. I am going to drive you around Morrisville, show you three or maybe four different neighborhoods so we can see exactly what might fit into your budget. All of them are in different price points. Um, and also, if you stick around till the end, I am going to add a super special surprise. It's a little gem that I just discovered not too long ago that I absolutely love. <music> on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Morrisville, North Carolina, then subscribe below and click the bell button for notifications so you can be the first one to know about the current market here in Morrisville. Um, I do get a lot of text messages and emails and calls from people just like you every single day and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move here in nine days or in 90 days, definitely call me, hit me up, text me, email me. I'd love to make your move to Morrisville, North Carolina a smooth and easy one. So let's take a quick walk here. I am actually in the Wegmans shopping center. Wegman is actually one of my favorite places to shop in um, and just across here you're going to see a lot of shopping and some apartments there if you exit the shopping center that way and you make a ride you are going to get to Nat Sports which is my son's favorite place for soccer camp so what I want to tell you about Morrisville is that Actually, it was voted by Niche as the number one place to live in North Carolina. Also, by the Money Magazine, it was voted as the 10th best place to live in the country. That is not something that you can just literally pass and say, oh, okay. Um, also, it won the 2021 All America City Award. I mean, you're speaking words after words. When you look at the crime rate, when you look at the schools, when you look at housing, actually most people own their homes here in Morrisville. When you look at the fact that there's about 32,000 people or so, I'm just rounding it up. Absolutely fantastic location. You can just hop on 147 being Durham, close to 540, close to 40, 55. Um, you can go to Whole Foods if you are coming from states that have Whole Foods. Um, you're very close to Trader Joe's as well. Um, so much, you know, the, the Target shopping center. It's just everything is right here close to you. Not to mention that it is literally minutes from RTP and from the International Airport. Um, it is very close to Cary. And it also is in Wake County as well as Durham County. Uh, when I, and let me show you, the beautiful music is coming from this place here, Meze. And you know what? I didn't tell you one thing. The fact that it is known as Little India to the locals. Um, there's a very diverse population and I love the fact that I can go to stores that are unique, both from a fashion perspective as a culinary perspective. I do not li like the same boring food, so being in Morrisville really gives me the opportunity to shop and dine in very diverse and cool places. All right. Mediterranean Grill is right here. We have a great clips. We have Indian rolls and more. Oh, I've never tried this one. Ghoulie Boys. I need to try it. Then we have a nail bar. And this is just one of them, right? There's plenty of shopping, as I said, but Wegman and their market, their cafe is really special to me <laughs> and that's why I wanted to record a video here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you as I said around three neighborhoods I usually like to kind of add more especially as I'm driving by a city or a town um, so you guys can get as much of a feel as possible of the area so let's get into the car and let's start
start driving. Hey guys, so we are in our first neighborhood in Morrisville, North Carolina, Carpenter Park. Such a wonderful neighborhood with so many uh, cute amenities and very low HOA fees. You're talking about $75 or so per month and they do cover the lawn maintenance. So everything that you see, see here is covered. Um, this is the home that I am showing you right here. It's a ranch style home and it was listed at $498,000. Um, it is a three bedroom baths and the garage that you see there the schools are let me double check carpenter austin ridge and green hope so i wanted to double check just because some of the schools probably you've heard me say this already in morrisville carry have capped or are capped um, and so they can change if you're a parent definitely remember that you need to make sure that you are registering your child in time um, so that the school won't be capped by the time you registered so again this is the home right here uh, low HOA fees about 1665 square feet three bedrooms two baths and on point 24 acres so you see the acreage though I think it's right here in front so Based on what I see here in the back, there's not a lot of usable space here, but a lot of people don't want to have a lot of space in the back. They don't want to maintain their, laws, uh, their lawn. So wait till you see how beautiful uh, their amenities are. They have a football courts, they have tennis courts, they have a playground, they have a very unique, um, I, I love that, my kids love that, um, little, it's like, it's like a playground slash natural made of sticks art so i'm not really sure what to call it but uh, i will show you and i will read what it says next to it it was uh, featured on wral this year uh, absolutely incredibly beautiful so it definitely challenges the child to use their imagination and play um, not only be on their ipads and the tv so absolutely great location close to the airport close to downtown raleigh downtown Cary. Apex, so you are talking, you know, you're somewhere at I don't know 15 20 minutes max to downtown um, Raleigh, depending on which way you go. It's very close to 540, so you can just hop on 540 and you can be anywhere you you want to be within 20 minutes or so. Of course, you can be at the beach, <laughs> which by the way, all this area, Morrisville, Cary, Apex, Raleigh, we are around two, uh, two hours, two and a half hours to beach, to the beach. We were just there this weekend um, at uh, Wilmington. So it's really cool. You can go to Wrightsville Beach, which is I think the closest, if I'm correct. So definitely a lot of things to do here in Morrisville. A great library, great athletics, um, the cricket, um, a lot, a lot happening here. So. Stay with me, I'm going to drive you to see some more and of course the amenities in the neighborhood and if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, so we're starting with the pickleball courts. There are three pickleball courts. There's also the basketball court. All right, I don't know if you guys have pickleball where you are. Um, this is the parking lot here. It's a parking lot for 30 cars. And I want to show you something really cool here in uh, Carpenter Village. That's the play area there. Probably you can't see it, but I'm going to go closer. However, the community garden is super cool. And look at this. To be honest, I do not know what this is. <laughs> I don't know um, what type of uh, plant this is, but it is definitely beautiful. that is the community garden right there there's also a picnic shelter the restrooms are here oh yeah so the um, 
the flyway home I'm not sure if you if you have heard by the way that um, th this neighborhood which is by the way on 16 acres is actually um, it, 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 it's the memorial site for uh, for f flights uh, I'm not sure which flights they are but it is the memorial site for two flights AE something I apologize I don't remember the the numbers but I do know that for a fact about Carpenter Village Wow such a beautiful beautiful community garden so nice evening of dining dancing under the stars September 24th oh that is cool I'll definitely put this on my calendar and come for a cool cool event here organized by the town of Cary all right pump track what's a pump track do you know what's a pump track series of rollers with turns connecting them that is designed for you to go as fast as you'd like complete laps around the track without paddling or pushing bend your legs and arms over the rollers to help get speed momentum around the track it's open every day huh. consider trying all the wheel sports on this track nice to be honest I have not seen this in any other neighborhoods this is the first time I'm seeing this so if you are enjoying this type of sport definitely something to consider okay so there's a lot of pedestrian trails around there's a terraced lawn area as well play lawn area children's play area the restroom structure that's all there I mean if okay no climbing on this one if this is helpful please let me know if you'd like me to show you anything else about Carpenter Village there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of families in the neighborhood all right so right now I am taking you to the play area <laughs> I realized that all this time I'm showing you around but I think it's cool to show you around and uh, probably better than just keep on looking at me you've been seeing me for such a long time now <laughs> so uh, yeah. some children here playing and the picnic and that's the one that's right there hello yep so what you are going to love about being here in Cary North Carolina is how accessible everything is from your neighborhood how easy it is to just go to parks like this to to play games to, to be into sports very diverse sports by the way so uh, yeah. you can come here you can grill easy peasy it feels like you are in, in the middle of the forest on a daily basis here in uh, in North Carolina so very nature friendly sports friendly family friendly now keep in mind oh by the way look look at that can you see it the reality of being here super close to the airport so you are going to see planes from time to time but you know I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with seeing planes from time to time and being able to just go to Europe or wherever I want because there's an international airport. I will take that any day. <laughs> so, yep. This is it. I like that. Just wanted to show you. 
what a cool bike that is i hope you enjoyed this video about carpenter park man i need to put my hat back on <laughs> uh, let's see what's next hey we are at our second neighborhood that is called villas at sunset here in morrisville more into that 700,000 price point there is one home that closed at 719,000 at the end of august you are looking at approximately 3,000 square feet a small yard 0.1 or so which is very common for these homes as you can see they have the shared driveways graystone partnered with tony fraser who is a very popular architect here in north carolina to bring you these homes very small community about 33 homes i wanted to show it I, I, I want to show this to you because I know that Morrisville is a big attractor to young professionals, young couples that are moving to the area that do not want to maintain a big lot. Um, I am going to show you a more expensive neighborhood very soon that has 0.5 acres and above. And you know what? A lot of people say, you know, we don't want to have that hassle. So we're okay to pay an HOA whatever it is and they can just maintain the exterior of the neighborhood but we don't want to have to deal with cutting the grass and a lot of trees uh, by the way the HOA here is about $125 per month so you do have most of these homes that uh, have a, a in-law suite on the first floor so you will get to host your parents and your family that is coming to visit and you are very close to pretty much everything shopping hospitals 540 40 147 to get to durham so prime location small neighborhood this is what's happening at the moment across the street so you're not really gonna have a lot of neighbors across and at the end of that street there's actually a um, gas station so you are running parallel this street is running parallel with uh, with the main road here in morrisville but you cannot hear the traffic which is the most important thing so let's go to the other neighborhood um, and i will also drive you guys just as a quick bonus since i'm very close I will drive you through a different neighborhood that's in that 800 brand new neighborhood so you can see how it looks like before I hit the last neighborhood on our video. I'm here giving you a little tour of the Turnberry neighborhood in Morrisville. It is a little bit higher price point than the villas at Sunset where we just were. But take a quick look. It's a bigger neighborhood, 850 is sort of the way to go here children on the street and right here in prime morrisville location just gonna make a quick turn here so you can see a little bit more so again, this is just a little bonus added to the villas at sunset because that was a very small neighborhood. So you can see that builder, you can see these are homes, what they're doing here, Ameritage, plenty of new construction in Morrisville. So this is the new neighborhood right here. There are homes that are still available, not too much though most of them would have a guest suite on the first floor you can easily find something in that 3000 plus square feet now please be reminded of the fact that i am just, i have just driven here so i didn't look up the brand new stats but i have worked with beezer before and this is the name of the of the neighborhood turnberry by beezer so uh, I do recommend that you guys connect with me if you'd like to get new construction. Always recommended to make sure you understand that the builder works for himself. And all of the agents that are here represent the builder. They do not represent you. So this is, uh, this is it. This is the neighborhood. Let's go to the last neighborhood on our list. 
Hey guys, welcome to our third neighborhood in Morrisville, North Carolina, which is called Preston. In our other video, the Kerry one, we have something called Preston Village. Now, Preston, Preston Village, they're very, very close by. However, Preston itself is located both in Morrisville and in Kerry. So remember that when you look on the map, or if you have questions about living in Cary versus living in Morrisville and making the difference between Preston and Preston Village. Preston also is a huge neighborhood. Um, it does have smaller homes, town homes, also single family homes like this one right here that is located on half acre or so. So Preston is very well known for, for style, expensive homes, a lot of character and also for Prestonwood Country Club. What you're gonna find in a Prestonwood Country Club is <laughs> what I, I guess I should say what you're not gonna find there. So besides the 54 hole golf course which is absolutely outstanding just right there on the lake you are going to see um, that they have three pools they have slides one with the slide and it's a really cool um, outside area for the children. They have tennis courts, they have the country club itself where you can host weddings and there are many many events that are being hosted at the country club. Now this is not included in, so the membership to the country club is not included in the $400 per uh, year HOA fee which you're going to pay here to be part of uh, Preston. However, of course there's an additional charge and I'm not really sure to be honest what that charge is but I can definitely find it out for you so this is the home that I want to present to you okay it is almost 1.3 million four bedrooms four and a half baths as I said on half acres it does have that second floor that is not finished that you could fo finish and plenty of parking so the garage is there you can definitely park minimum four cars here and these are the uh, additional homes that are on the cul-de-sac as you can see this particular one is built in 2001 so um, if you care for something a little bit newer just so you know Preston has a lot of developers and a lot of homeowners that are buying their homes and completely turning them into something different from an aesthetic perspective so nothing new for homeowners here to see how the neighborhood is changing from many many perspective uh, perspectives also you are very close to the Cary tennis park when um, when you want to go play tennis or when you want to go and hike, you are close to the Bond Park. Remember all these parks, several of them have lakes like the Bond one. You can go on a hike around the lake, you can have ice cream, you can host events there. They have several shelters. They also have a camp at the Bond Park. What else can I tell you about this place? I mean, it's so close to 540, to 55, to 64. Impeccable location. Nothing's more than 15 minutes away. This is what I would like to tell you. Um, literally seven miles or so to downtown Cary and maybe 15 miles or so to um, downtown Raleigh and to Durham. So really cool, exquisite location with great homes and the pricing that is definitely a little bit higher than anything else that we have seen so far. If you are thinking about shopping, I mean, Harry's Theater, Whole Foods, um, hair, nails, everything is here, very close to Preston. You can go dancing. Um, you have the La Farm Bakery, which is very uh, prestigious. Everyone goes there and has um, uh, coffee and breakfast. You have the um, High House and Davis Drive intersection, which is also very close to Park Village and Whitebridge, the neighborhood that I showed you, where you have every single thing that you want. Pizzeria, hot dogs, hamburgers, Chinese, um, anything, again. So a lot for me to, to tell you, I know just in one video, but um, 
feel free to ask me if any of you are interested in how close it is to Costco. Maybe it's a 15 min minute drive to Costco. You are about, same thing, 20 minutes to Crabtree Valley Mall. Same thing to the South Point Mall. I know a lot of ladies are interested in finding out more and a lot of the people that we are connecting with are asking about how close everything is. Now, mind you, you're coming to one of the hottest places to live in in the country. So there's plenty for everyone, plenty of diversity. So again, we are in Preston right now and you will find homes at 800, 900, but most probably if you want something in the 3,700 or so square footage like the one that I am presenting to you, most probably you're going to pay over a million dollars unless it's super dated and then it's probably gonna be eight, nine hundred thousand dollars or so. So this is about what I have to tell you um, on Preston itself with the location in Morrisville. Um, if you have questions, just hit me up and I will be taking you to the hidden gem <laughs> that we talked about as usual in some of my videos I do have some bonuses some places that I love taking all of my viewers to because they are unique they're cool they're fun so definitely stay with me Hey, so when I say first professional cricket league in the country, what does that tell you? You know what that tells me? It tells me Morrisville, the town of Morrisville. Not only that, but they partnered with the major league cricket for a multi-million dollar expansion. So you will be seeing Morrisville on the news shortly, hosting several events that will be broadcast national and international there is a playground there there are some tennis scores that you can also take a look at so that's church street right there so you probably expected something like a restaurant or an ice cream place or a coffee place or a crazy bar like the one that we have posted in uh, in raleigh which is unique in the country but this time it is a cricket field for the town of Morrisville. I'm very proud to be here and I'm very happy to be able to bring my family to watch some really cool cricket games. So don't, for, don't forget with any questions about living in Raleigh, North Carolina, any of the suburbs such as Morrisville, Apex, Holly Springs, Cary, and everything surrounding Raleigh, North Carolina, I am here. Subscribe, follow me here on YouTube. Till the next video, take care.